Shalom, shalom, shalom. 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 Christ, Christ bless, bless Israel. Israel. I'm filling in, in for, for the mighty, mighty Deacon Lava. Sa'ana, Sa'ana, I'm going to pray for the Father. All right, so I'm Officer Israel to my left. I'm Officer Israel. Hey, hey, happy, happy Sabbath. Sabbath. We're about to We're stand, about up, stand up, up and face Jerusalem. Jerusalem. All right. All right. Go Trump. Go Trump. Most gracious Father, we come unto you and ask you for your forgiveness and sins we have committed against you in the morning. Ask that you watch over the nation of Israel. Persecute the enemies that come against us. Watch over the people that are sick amongst us. Ask that you watch over the people that are sick amongst us. Ask that you watch over the people that are sick amongst us. Ask that you watch over the people that are sick amongst us. Ask that you watch over the people that are sick amongst us. Ask that you watch over the people that are sick amongst us. Ask that you watch over the people that are sick amongst us. All praise for the most high. high. Excuse, Excuse me. But the party is real. I will go straight, straight, straight to it. To it. The title of the class is Y'all Can See. Affliction brings, brings us closer. closer. I'm going to open up with Romans. Give me Romans 13. 13. I want verse 13. The book the of book Romans, Romans, chapter, Romans, chapter 13, 13, verse 11. 11. And that, and that knowing, knowing the time. It says, and, and, and knowing the time. The time. We're the lady right, right now. The last, the last day. day. Knowing the time. Go ahead. That now it is high time, time to, awake to awake out, out of sleep. sleep. Paul, is Paul is telling us that in Rome, Rome saying, look, look, telling the Romans that what? It is high time to be awake out of sleep. The scriptures, guess what? They correlate to that. They were flipped on us today. It's time for us to wake up out of sleep. Go ahead. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. It's that our salvation is nearer than we believe. Christ is on his way. We closer than we ever been. We closer than our forefathers. All right? Give me Zephaniah chapter 2. Every day, every day is a step closer to Christ coming back. Go ahead. Go ahead. The book of Zephaniah, chapter, chapter 2, two, two is verse 1. Gather, gather yourselves, yourselves together. together. Yay. Yay. Gather, gather together, together. O nations, not, not desire. Hey, check, hey, check the sound. The sound. I need the feedback. Feedback. The sound. The sound. The sound. Kind of off. Read it again. Read it again. Gather, gather yourselves, yourselves together. together. Yay. 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 Gather, gather together, O nations, not desire. He said gather together, right? Gather yourselves together, O nations, not desire. But do we just gather together as a body, as a bunch of black black coming into one room or one area? Give me John. Give me John 13, 35. What must we do while we gather? Because that's what you go to work, you go to work and gather with a bunch of people. Are y'all the same mind? Are y'all one accord? One accord. Be that. Be that. The book of the book John, John chapter 13, 13, verse 35. By this, by this shall all men know. He said, by this, this all, all men shall know what? what? That, that ye, ye are my disciples. He said, if ye are my disciples, go ahead. If ye have love, love one, one to another. So we just gather. We 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 gather. Nobody, Nobody can understand, understand the class. class. It's a bad it's a bad class. It might be a people 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 people. People. Guess what we're going to teach you. Read it. Read it, Read it, Read it again. again. The book, the book of, John, of John, chapter 13, verse 35. By, by this shall all men know, know that, that ye are my disciples. It said that ye are my disciples. Go ahead. Go ahead. If, if ye have, have love, love one to another. another. If you have, have love, love one to another. another. Like the scripture like saying, saying Rome said, said, let love be the domination. You can't have that faith. Love. Love. You gotta keep it up out with your brothers and your sisters. As we gather together, it must be authentic and sincerity amongst one another. Go back to that chapter chapter two. Oh, the Bible, oh, the Bible. Bible. says, yeah, 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 yeah. The book of Zephaniah, They say they can't understand that. Go ahead. Gather yourselves together. Yay. Gather together. Oh, nation, not desire. Gather yourselves together. Yay. Gather together. Oh, nation, not desire. Read. It's only said, oh, nation, not desire. The nation, the world. Guess what? Guess what? Don't desire us as a nation. The black man is coming together to show love for one another. They don't, they, don't gather, gather, they, don't, they don't they don't desire, desire us to be, to be a, nation. a nation. They don't want us to come together and be bonded. They don't want us to come together and 
other and show respect. Show love. Show camaraderie. They don't like that. They don't want it. We don't. We don't. Verse 2. Before the decree bring forth. Before the day pass the chat. Read. Before the fierce anger of the Lord. He said we got to gather together before the fierce anger of the Lord. The most the I come back and drop these bombs, we need to gather together, together, together before, before that day. day. We don't. Before, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Before the day of the Lord come upon you. Now, now right? right? Give me do the right thing, right? 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 So, so. Oh, it's not. Come on. Read. Deuteronomy 2868. Just to show y'all something. He said, gather together as a nation. Go ahead. Because we can't have that sp spirit of separation. You know, when, when afflictions and trials come, that spirit of separation jumps on us. Read on. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. He said, the Lord shall bring thee, us as a nation, not individually, not one person. It said, us as a whole, thee. Read on. Into Egypt again with ships. It said into Egypt again with ships. Because guess what? We went into slavery as a nation. We didn't see our homeland as a nation. We were sold as a nation. Us as a nation is going to get the kingdom. We under the curses as a nation. We going through the trials and afflictions as a nation. Now the trials and afflictions might um, vary. I mean, uh, vary in different form, but guess what? We still going through affliction as a nation, right? Is that a, it on that? Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We all didn't see our homeland. Go ahead. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. So look, did just one man get off the ship and, uh, and it kept going and freed everybody else? And a one man was in slavery? No, us as a nation went into slavery. Read. For bond men and bond women, Read. and no man shall buy you. Now, give me Hebrews chapter 10, verse 32. Just building, just building. Afflictions is going to bring us closer. When we're going through our trials and tribulations, we got to come together. It's not the time to separate. Go ahead. The book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 32. But call to remembrance the former days. So God said, call to remembrance the former days. Hold that. Get that uh, Deuteronomy 32, 7. It's saying the same thing, but. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 7. Remember the days of old. So he telling us, remember the days of old. Remember how our forefathers fought the battles of the trials and the uh, tribulations that they went through. We got to remember that thing. Go ahead. Consider the years of many generations. Read. Ask thy father, and he will shoot thee. He said, ask thy father. We got spiritual fathers in this truth. The bishops, the deacons. Ask thy fathers. Read on. Thy elders. Thy elders. Go ahead. And they will tell thee. They will tell us how to fight the afflictions. How to navigate through the Bible. Go back to Hebrews. The book of Hebrews. Because, you know, sometimes we like to do, when we going through our trials and stuff like that, the old man that's comfortable like to call mama right. or call the old homeboy in the world, the old homegirl in the world. We don't like to call our brothers and sisters in this truth because we, guess what, we trying to move with a persona that we perfect. That, oh, I don't want people in my business. Moving in that type of spirit. We don't. Read what you got. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 32. But call to remembrance the former days Read. in which, after ye were illuminated. After we were illuminated, right? How, we, how do we get illuminated? How was our forefathers illuminated? Get Baruch chapter 4. Baruch chapter 4 in the Apocrypha. I want verses 1 to 2. The book of Baruch chapter 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God. It said, this is the book of the commandments of God. Read on. And the law. That endureth forever. So the law not done away with. The law endured forever. That's what's going to help us fight these trials and these tribulations. The law. Read on. All they that keep it shall come to life. Read. But such as leave it shall die. Read. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. He said, turn thee, O Jacob, O Israel, take hold of that law that endured forever. Read on. Walk in the presence of the light thereof. Read. 
that thou mayest be illuminated. We was illuminated by walking in the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. That's right. That's how we was illuminated. Go back to Hebrews 10. God said, learn from our forefathers. Our forefathers was illuminated. Why? Because they trusted in the Most High God. They trusted in them law, statutes, and commandments. Go ahead. Hebrews 10 and 32. But call to remembrance the former days in which after ye were illuminated, ye endured a great fight of affliction. It said after we was girded up with the law, statutes, and commandments, we endured a great fight of what? Of affliction. So what was their mindset? The mindset. Get to rock too. When you come into this truth, it's about battle. <laughs> Fighting. Book of Sirach, chapter 2 and verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord. You coming to serve the Most High God. Go ahead. Prepare thy soul for temptation. So it says prepare. It's preparation. You have to gird up your mind. Your mind. You have to surround yourself by like-minded brothers and sisters. That's going to have your back in the commandments of God. That calls for preparation. Study, pray, apply. That's, prepare, that's preparation. Read on. Set thy heart aright Read. and constantly endure. Did it say, it said constantly endure. That goes into, that, that goes into like charity, long suffering. Constantly endure the affliction that's what? Going to overtake us. Not in, not, not in the sense where um, you can't get back up. Because the scriptures say what? The righteous man uh, falls seven times, but the wicked fall into mischief. Meaning what? We going to overcome those trials and those tribulations. We got to trust in the most high God. Read on. Is that, I want you to go to first three. Okay. And make not haste in time of trouble. Sometimes that haste we make in time of trouble is separation. We leave the body. We make haste saying, oh, I don't think that officer is going to understand me. I don't think that sister is going to understand me. So let me run to grandma. Let me go run to my uncle in the world. Because I don't think they're going to understand me. But the scriptures say there's no temptation um, that is such a uh, common to man. You know, I might be butchering it, but y'all know what I'm saying, Israel. Read on. Verse 3. Cleave unto him and depart not away. It said cleave unto him and depart not away. You're supposed to go in the scriptures. You're supposed to be figure out how I'm going through a trial right now. I need help. Let me call a man that is uh, experienced in the scriptures to help me navigate and guide me and, and gird me up, gird my loins up. What is the scriptures that's dealing with depression? Hey, I just lost my job. How do I overcome that? Hey, it's going to happen. The nations are against us in this, in this walk. All right, give me, uh, go ahead. Cleave unto him and depart not away. It said, depart not away. That thou mayest be increased as thy last end. Guess what? It's going to be, we going to see better days like the, uh, like the Benjavite song. We, better days is going to come. We going to get increased at the end. Give me Proverbs 17, 17. What's a friend though? Because people, people like to say they friends. They have them old friends. In the world. My partner. My partner I used to be in the world with. You been in the truth eight years still bringing that up. Still talking to the world. Go ahead. Read what you got. Proverbs 17 and verse 17. A friend loveth at all times. It said a friend loveth at all times. A friend is not partial. So you know when, you know when like... You know when you say, you say like, hey, bro, I got your back, right or wrong, right? I used to look at that and like, what? But no, that's true because guess what? If you're wrong, I'm going to correct you. Right. Yeah. I'm going to make sure you're straight. I'm going to keep you on your toes. It says a friend loveth at all times. Read that again. A friend loveth at all times. A friend is not partial. A friend uses the law at all times. Read on. And a brother is born for adversity. Right. My brothers and my sisters is born for when I go through my trials and afflictions. They born for that. To help me, what? To show me through the scriptures and to comfort me through the scriptures. Like, you know, this brother, you're like, okay, this brother, he been in, he came in two, three years before me, ten years before me. Right? And then guess what? I go through my trial and my uh, tribulation, my adversity, 
and then you call him and talk to him to get some guidance or some upliftment, guess what? He ended up, he went through the same thing. He like, bro, look, bro, Israel, look, we don't lose. We win battles. <laughs> the Most High is proving us, teaching us how to fight. That's how I did when I first came to you. I called a brother. He said, look, man, we don't lose battles. We win battles. Right. I said, wow. <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. <laughs> Kept me going. <laughs> you know, give me uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7, verse 27. We're going to deal with this friend. Because, man, we got to, we, you know, sometimes, you know, we, we, you, we travel to different schools and, and various uh, congregations, right? And then, you know, brothers be shy, don't want to shalom, don't want to speak and stuff like that. It's like, look, we a family. You was born for my adversity, bro. I might need you one time. Go ahead. I want verse 27. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7 and verse 27. And being but one. She can do all things. Talk about wisdom. Read on. And remaining in herself, she maketh all things new. And in all ages, entering into holy souls, she maketh them friends of God. She maketh them what? Friends of God. When you use wisdom, you become a friend of God. Go ahead. Verse and four. prophets. Go ahead. Give me verse 14. Same chapter. Yes, yeah, same chapter. Wisdom of Solomon, 7 and 14. For she is a treasure unto men that never faileth, which they that use become the friends of God. When you use wisdom, you become the friends of God. A friend loveth at all times. A friend is going to use wisdom to his neighbor at all times. You around your brother and sister, you see them going off, you're going to use that wisdom. You're going to use that law at all times. You're going to show that love at all times. You're not going to sit back and watch this person slip and fall. Having that evil eye. Go ahead. Being commended for the gifts that come from learning. So guess what? How I go through learning, that's what the Most High trying to show us. When he put us through a trial, he trying to teach us how to fight and learn how to overcome that thing for your brother and your sister that go, that's going to go through the same thing or similar tribulations. Get James chapter 2, verse 23. James 2, 23. That's what it is. Like, you know, we got to tighten up. That's why he said, gather yourself together. We got to be knitted. We got to be like a brick wall. Bishop said it all the time. It, it, it ain't no one-man island. We got to get out of here together. Here what you got. James chapter 2 and verse 23. And the scripture was fulfilled which said, Abraham believed God. So Abraham believed God. When you read about that in Genesis chapter 15, Abraham believed God wholeheartedly. God told Abraham something. He didn't doubt it. He didn't question it. He said, that's what he said. That's what I'm going to do. And that's saying like what the most I said, gather ourselves together, love one another. Use that wisdom at all times. Like I say, let love be without dissimulation. I love that scripture. Don't be fake. <laughs> Keep it 144K. That's what the Bible be saying. <laughs> oh, man, read it. He said he believed on God. Go ahead. And it was imputed unto him for righteousness. Read. And he was called the friend of God. Abraham was called the friend of God because he believed what he said. So your, the friends is gonna believe, your friends is going to believe what the Bible is saying. You give them a scripture, they're going to take heed. They're going to shut up and accept it because they're like, dang, that's my friend. They bringing out wisdom. They bringing out the words of God. Get to Rock 44, 19 verses 19 to 20. It's going into Abraham. It's Rock chapter 44 and verse 19. Abraham was a great father of many people. Read. In glory was there none like unto him, who kept the law of the Most High. Abraham kept the law of the Most High. He was a friend of God. The friend loveth at all times. Doing trials, doing afflictions, you lose your job, you get an ev eviction notice. The friend loveth at all times. Sometimes you might, you might have to divorce the unbelieving spouse. The friend going to love it, love at all times. Read. And was in covenant with him, 
he established a covenant in his flesh. Read. And when he was proved. When he was what? And when he was proved. God put these obstacles in our way to prove us. He don't just want to give us the kingdom. We got to work for it. We got to bring it forth. Why? Because when you work for something, you appreciate it better. Just like when you, when you, when you, when you, um, coming from an apartment into a school and all the brothers and sisters putting in the work, putting their bricks in and things of that nature. It's like you appreciate it more. But when you got people that just walk into something, you're like, dang, you just, man, you scuffing up the baseboards. Right. <laughs> you know how much it costs to put them baseboards in? You just kicking them and, and <laughs> that what, that what you, that's what you're doing. You, you slamming doors? Hey, you know, it, it took like, it took like two hours to put that door on them hinges or something. Not saying that realistically. You know, just for an example. Go ahead. Read what you got. He was found faithful. He was found what? He was found what? He was found faithful. Now, give me Proverbs 24, 10. He was found faithful. Faithful synonymous with diligent. You got to have a pattern in this truth. <laughs> a pattern of using the laws at all times. Using wisdom. Go ahead. Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 10. So when these afflictions and trials come your way, whether wherever um, they may be, go ahead. If thou faint in the day of adversity. If you faint, you get fired from your job, right? Because you didn't took too many new moons off. Right. You didn't took eight days for Passover. <laughs> Came back, spirit was all hyped up. They're like, no, we, 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 we want the, we want the uh, stressed out. We want the stressed out Israel. We don't want the cheery all pumped up Israel where you just came from. They said, nah, bro, you took too many days off. Now they find a little things, you know, brothers losing their jobs and stuff. Getting unemployed, unemployed after they come back from Passover, laid off. Afflictions, trials, this pandemic causing people to get sick. Go ahead. If thou faint in the day of adversity. If you faint in the day of adversity, you quit when them trials arise. Read on. Thy strength is small. God said you weak. You weak as hell. Because he, he didn't make man to be the weaker vessel. He didn't make man to be weak. Mm -hmm. He made us to be warriors. David said, hey, he taught my hands to fight. You remember when Samuel was coming in, they said, oh, Samuel. Uh, do you come in? Do you come peaceably? They feared him. He ain't made. <laughs> he said, "I ain't never been a weak Jew." I ain't never been a weak Jew. <laughs> if you lead this, you read that again. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. God saying your strength is small. No matter how mighty you think you are, what you gonna do when them trials come? When that fire come, mm -hmm. what you gonna do? Read. All right, give me, uh, give me Romans. Give me Romans 8, on verse 35. Because if something, if something or someone calls you to separate from the Most High God, you weak. It is what it is, man. The book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? He said, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? People say, yeah, I'm gone. I'm loyal, I'm loyal to Christ. What? You, can, you ain't even loyal to the brothers that was made in his image. Thanks. How you loyal to Christ? The second greatest commandment said, love thy neighbor as you love yourself. That's how you show you love God when you love your brother and your sister. If you was loyal to Christ, you got, guess what you're going to do? You're going to love at all times. <laughs> read, read, read it. Shall tribulation. Or distress. Shall tribulation or distress separate us from Christ? Shall your crown get snatched from tribulation because you, you lost a minimum wage job? So you're saying, I'm going to give up the kingdom because I lost a minimum wage job. So I'm going to give up. I'm going to just, I just quit. Go ahead. Or persecution. Guess what? Because some of us going to be persecuted in this walk. Y'all seen when the, when the leadership went over there to, where they go to, Cuba? Yeah. Cuba, yeah, when they were stuffed in the back of that police car and stuff, getting persecuted. We get persecuted on our jobs. When you go, they see them, fit. your name change, you write down Israel. They like, oh, no, you one of them uh, black Hebrew Israelites. Right, right. 
they don't say it outright. No, uh, we um we'll call you later. We ain't got no we ain't got no um openings right now. What you got a big old banner outside the job that though. say help needed. <laughs> Go ahead. Or famine. Or famine. Right now it's it's food shortages. Is famine gonna separate you from the love of God? Read. Or nakedness. Read. Or peril. Or sword. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. Read. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. So you saying us, we are counted as sheep for the slaughter. So you thinking that us in America, keeping the commandments, that it's going to be a smooth road? It's going to be peachy? Read it. It says, it says, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. We second, we second class citizens in this country. They're going to be happy to afflict us. Mm -hmm. Happy to give us the second hand. Happy, they're going to be happy to replace us with one of their people. A lot of us trying to have that peace in Babylon. <laughs> we accounted, it said we accounted as sheep for the slaughter. They can't, they can't wait mm -hmm. to do us dirty. They just itching. That's why we got to keep these commandments. Find me that scripture where it says uh, peace. It says uh, he that um, is peace with his, uh, make it, make it, I'm butchering it. Fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm butchering it. Yeah, read that. Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 7. And seek the peace of the city where I have caused you to be carried away captives and pray unto the Lord for it. For in the peace thereof, Shall ye have peace? So in the peace thereof shall we have, shall you have peace. That ain't the one I wanted, though. It says make his enemies be at peace with him. Yeah, find that for me. Because that's why we got to take hold on to the wisdom. We got to become a friend of God. Find that for me. Make his enemies be at peace with him. All right, I got you. Yeah. Read. <clears throat> Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 7. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. It says when the ways do, say that one more time. When a man's ways please the Lord. When you keeping these laws and that faith is growing, your ways please the Lord, read on. He maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. That's why some of y'all got the chance to go to Passover and still come back and have your jobs. You know? Or y'all getting the time off. Y'all being able to travel, go on the quest and things of that nature and still keep your job. He's making your enemies be at peace with you. When we we go out here, we go out here and, and go to camp. We, are, we we in the midst of the nations. You go in a grocery store or whatever the case may be, you know. Guess what? You still intact. You're not getting harmed. The police ain't pulling us over yet and killing us because we got on a purple shirt, all fringes. The most high showing us peace, because why our ways is pleasing the Lord. We don't. That's it on that? Yeah, give me uh, what, what I leave off of that? Romans 8. Yeah, give me Romans 8, verse 38. Romans chapter 8 and verse 38. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels. It said neither death. We don't. Nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers. Nor things present, nor things to come. That's some heavy stuff. He going into everybody's situation. Read on. Nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, he, our he, Lord. He said, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us. Paul didn't say me. Mm -hmm. He said, separate us. He giving us some exhortment. Separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So we, you know, we got to meditate on that thing. Read this daily. So when we think about quitting and giving up, we got to be like, nah, nothing ain't going to separate me from God. You know, the hate, the slander, it ain't going to separate you from God. Get to Rock 11, 14. Somebody going to separate me from the love of Christ. Christ promised me something that no man can give me. He said, what? If you keep my commandments and overcome to the end, I'm going to put you over the nations. Mm -hmm. What man going to give us that? Today, nobody. No man on this planet can promise you that. 
So why would you separate yourself for the love of God? It's idiotic. <laughs> Go ahead. Sirach, chap, or Ecclesiasticus, in the Apocrypha, chapter 11 and verse 14. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. Read that one more time. Prosperity. He said prosperity. You prospering. Read on. And adversity. And adversity. That trial, that affliction, that grief. Go ahead. Life and death. Life. You overcoming COVID-19. You overcoming, yeah, the coronavirus. Your, your, your various sicknesses, uh, sicknesses. You overcoming cancer. Go ahead. Poverty and riches. It said poverty. You in your poor state. And it said and riches. You got the bag. Go ahead. Come of the Lord. It come of the Lord. The Lord has power over them things. Right? You broke, you rich, is of the Lord. You healthy, you ill, is of the Lord. It's Sirach 12. Sirach 12, verses 8 to 9. Sirach chapter 12 and verse 8. A friend cannot be known in prosperity. A friend can't be known when you prosper. That's of the Lord. You being you you prospering, a friend can't be known. Cause why? When you prospering, when you all high and mighty, brothers all want to give you the flattery uh um compliments. They want to compliment you all the time, you know, trying to trying to uh come at you with flattery. They never talked to they never they never dealt with you when you was in your lower state. Now you 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 rising mm -hmm. and the most high showing you uh prosperity, he's showing you favor. Now here come the friends. Y'all think that stuff don't be happening in this truth. It does. Go ahead. And an enemy cannot be hidden in adversity. An enemy cannot be hidden in adversity. When you're going through your trial and stuff, you know who's there for you and who ain't. People start to scatter. You remember when, when, you remember when the uh, Negroes came and tried to take over the, take over the stuff? Right. The school and stuff like that. You seen who, who was, who was um, for, for, for the truth, you know, for Christ. For the bishops, for the captains, that you seen who was of their own agenda. Well, for the burgers and fringes. Yeah, for the burgers and fringes. <laughs> you seen that thing. Because the most high, like, look, I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going to put you in adversity to show you who for this truth because a friend love it at all times. And who for this truth and who for the flattering titles or who for their own agenda. Go ahead. Verse 9. In the prosperity of a man, enemies will be grieved. In the prosperity of a man, what? Enemies will be grieved. Yo, yo, haters, if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. Enemies going to be grieved when you prosper. They, how is he prospering? What is he doing? Go ask him. So you can learn. <laughs> Get it. Uh, That's it on that. Uh, uh, but in his adversity, even a friend will depart. Yes, people going to leave. Like, soon as you like, soon as you're going through something and you need a favor, you need your, your friends to depend, you, you need one of your friends to have your back, right? Guess what? You will call them, and they, oh, I can't help you. You're like, what? Everything I did for you? Well, I'm going to send up prayers. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to pray for you. Dang, bro, my car just broke down, bro. <laughs> you know, they ain't got the money right now. Hey, it's tight. You know, hey, bro, I'm going to pray for you. Bro, man, hey, bro, money, money strapped right now. You know, my wife didn't lost a job, bro. I got like three kids, bro. We need some food in the house. Ba 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 ba. Hey, bro, I'm gonna pray for you. Like, dang. I need help with my light bill. I'm gonna pray for you, brother. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pray to the Most High that <laughs> your lights get paid. <laughs> oh, Come on, man. man. We got to be real with one another. We got to be solid in his truth. Give me Psalms 31.7. I'm proud I'm using real life scenarios. <laughs> <laughs> you know? The book of Psalms, chapter 31 and verse 7. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble. God said he considered our trouble. Go ahead. Thou hast known my soul in adversities. It, God knows our hearts, our soul in adversity. Go ahead. Have, 
and has not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. Guess what? He ain't give us up to the hand of the enemy. It's to try us and to prove us. To, to get the impurities up, up out of us. So we can start to become perfect and be a light and example to the younger brothers and sisters in his walk. Yeah. Thou hast set my feet in a large room. Yeah. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. Mine eye is consumed with grief. So look, that's what we got. He said, have mercy upon me, O Lord. That's what we got to be asking for when we going through that trouble. Have mercy, God. Show me mercy. Yeah. Yea, my soul and my belly. For my life is, this is verse 10, for my life is spent with grief and my years with sighing. So it says, look, my life is spent with grief. That's all I wanted on that. Give me 2 Maccabees 6.16. That's what we got to ask for. We got to ask for mercy. He said, my life was spent with grief. Because when we go, look, nobody wants to go through these trials. Nobody does. And when it happened, the first thing we try to do is like, what do I need to do to fix it? That's what popped into our head because in the world, that's how we, were, how we was. You know, if you ain't have the money, you're like, let me figure out a way so I can go get it. But now, now um, since we're in this truth, like Paul said, he said, I'm a prisoner of Christ. We constricted and bounded by the laws of God. So you got you to gotta figure out how to maneuver within those laws. Like I tell the brothers, it's like a boxing ring. You know, like you see May Mayweather and stuff. He, he, he he's um, constricted in that square, and you got to figure out how to move to dodge those punches. And that's the same with us. We constricted in these laws. So we got to be, be able to how to, uh, we have to um, be able to figure out how to overcome these trials, dodge the tribulations that's coming against us. We got to learn how to bob and weave. How we do that? By study and praying and apply. Look, listening to the uh, Bible. Listening to classes. I said listening to the Bible. Yeah, Bible audio. I be listening to Bible audio. But reading. <laughs> reading the Bible. Listening to classes. Seeking counsel. Calling the captains. Don't be prideful. Right. Like I always say, man, I, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't over men trying to lead a congregation in the world. I'm a novice in this truth. I'm constantly learning. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be better. And that's what and that's what we got to do, so we can learn how to fight, right. <laughs> and be a be, and be a better boxer. Read that, Second Maccabees chapter six and verse sixteen. And therefore he never withdraweth his mercy from us. Hold on, he said he never what withdraweth his mercy from us. God don't withdraw his mercy from us. So we just we sit and we ask, and most High show us mercy in this trial. He ain't gonna withdraw that mercy from us. Never read. And though he punished, one, verse 16. and though he punished with adversity, though he pu hold on, how did the Most High punish? And though he punished with adversity, he punished with those trials. That's how the Most High get down. Go ahead. Yet doth he never forsake his people. God don't forsake his people. He don't forsake his people. David said he never seen the righteous forsaken. Right. But why he said, guess what? That mercy is given to us. It ain't given to nobody else. Get that wisdom of Solomon 415. The mercy was given to us. Mercy was slavery. There was, yeah. Mercy. That's what his lamentations. For God's mercies, we are not consumed. Mm -hmm. That was that was mercy. Sla slavery was mercy. Getting whipped on, a, on our back. Rape, robbed, and pillaged. That was God's mercy. So guess what? If that was his mercy, I sure don't want to see his destruction. I don't want to see it. I, want, I don't want to see his wrath. A lot of us be want to play with God. Some of us be thinking God's still that white, that Caesar Bo J. We dealing with that, we, we dealing with the, the black God, eyes who uh red as a flame of fire. Yeah. <laughs> you ask the kid at camp, hey, they ask, why is eyes red? Oh, he the kid said he angry. <laughs> no, he drinking, you know, he drink, he drinking wine, you know. Come on. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4 and verse 15. This the people saw and understood it not. Read. Neither laid they up this in their minds, that his grace and mercy. That his grace and mercy is what? Is with his saints. It's to his saints. The saints are the Israelites. His grace and his mercy is to his saints. God ain't going to withdraw his mercy from us. 
long as we keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments and serving him, right? But get that what David said. What? And that he hath respect unto his chosen. Give me Psalms 37, 25. The book of Psalms, chapter 37 and verse 25. I have been young and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken. Hey, we the righteous. The most high not going to uh, forsake us. So why would we faint in adversity? Why would we give up? We got to stay strong and hold on. Juvil got a song uh, uh, say, hold on. We got to hold on and keep going and constantly endure and overcome these trials. Overcome whatever get thrown our way. That's what you got to put in your mind when you wake up. Like, whatever's finna come my way, I'm going to bulldoze it. You ain't finna stop me. Sometimes you got to talk to yourself. <laughs> you got to amp yourself up. <laughs> like, what you going to throw at me today? <laughs> you know, sometimes you got to do that thing. Yep. Hey, give me Romans 12, 21. You want the rest on that? Yeah. I thought that was it on that. Go ahead. I said, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Oh, yeah. Romans uh, 12, 21. Romans chapter 12 and verse 21. Yeah, 1221. Book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 21. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Don't let that evil overcome you. But it says, but overcome evil with good, right? So in them afflictions, you got to seek the most high. Surround yourself by like-minded brothers and sisters. All right? Give me that Jude 119. When, they, when that evil is coming upon you, that trial and that tribulation... Don't overcome that evil by this right here. Don't do this thing. The book of Jude, chapter 1 and verse 19. These be they who separate themselves. It said, let's do what? These be they who separate themselves. You don't want to, you don't, that evil come up on you and then look, you're trying to separate yourself. Because of that trial and that affliction coming up on you. Because you, because Satan get in your mind and say, look. I'm the only one going through this. Nobody understands it. That's Satan. You're trying to separate yourself. God said, gather yourself together. We're in the last days. He said, before the fierce anger of the Lord. You want to come together and get right. You do not want to be out there alone. You don't want to separate yourself. We're in, we in the midst of a perilous time right now. You do not want to be out there by yourself. Hey. Sensual. It say emotional. Do it. what? Having not the spirit. That ain't the spirit when you're trying to separate yourself. That is not the spirit. That's why, like, when we doing stuff all the time, you know, if the me and the wife going out, we might throw on Telegram. Hey, we going here. Who want to come join us? It's better when you by yourself. Who want to go to a, if you go to a restaurant, you and your wife there, and it's all Edomites. Mm -hmm. You know, the scriptures say two is better than one. You know, try to try to travel with a with a group or a few of y'all. Mm -hmm. That's what's gonna keep you on your toes. Central, having not the spirit. Say it on that. Give me Sirach eleven twenty five. It says central having not the spirit. So you yeah, said the spirit of separation. That's not the spirit. Go on. The book of Ecclesiasticus and the Apocrypha. Chapter 11 and verse 25. In the day of prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of affliction. So now, the Most High, he afflicting us, right? But then in a day of prosperity, there's a forgetfulness of affliction. We don't, look, we ain't supposed to be forgetting that affliction. That's how we, that's how you know when you prosper. Because you're like, damn, I was afflicted. Hey, the Most High showing me favor right now. I was living check to check. Now I didn't got a raise. All day, I didn't quit my job, started my own business. It's doing good. Don't forget that time when you was living that check to check. Mm -hmm. Read. And in the day of affliction, there is no more remembrance of prosperity. Look, 
in the day of affliction, there is no more remembering of prosperity. We for, like that's like when uh the most high we forget that the most high can give it and take it away. Mm-hmm. Like when you read the story of Job. He can bless us too, and he can take it away. We gotta endure it so we can be increased in our last end. Is it? Oh shoot, hey, when we came up out of Egypt. We what? was murmuring in Egypt. We was murmuring in the wilderness because we forgot about our prosperity. God just delivered us. Exactly. Yeah, that's a great point. Yeah, he, he, he look, and, and we said, Moses, you brought us in the wilderness so you can rule over us that right, we can that right. we could die. All out the spirit. <laughs> All out the spirit. <laughs> so out the spirit, uh, uh, Joshua, they had to kill everybody else 20 and up. Yes, Joshua yes. had to recircumcise all the, all the uh, men. God said they seen God wrath. You know? Mm-hmm. That's it. <laughs> Give me uh, Sirach 85. Because, like, you, because, look, uh, I, in that Sirach 1125, People be happy, black people be happy during income tax season. They be balling out. Income tax season come in. Stimulus coming too. I, mean, I got bands. Be balling out. You forget that day of affliction because if you remember the day of affliction, you're going to put that stuff up. You're going to save it. You're going to put some stuff away for the rainy day. They're like, nope, bro. I'm going to go get the G-Wagon, paper plates. They expire in May and they get repoed in June because you can't make the payment. But when trials come our way, guess what? We forget forget the good that the most high have done. That's it. Get that. Get some rock. I guess. Yeah. I, That's our people. Doing taxing, you see the social media, everybody showing money and stuff like that. People, people lying, carrying kids that ain't even theirs. People wicked. Go, go ahead. <laughs> Sirach chapter 8 and verse 5, or Ecclesiasticus. Reproach not a man that turneth from sin, but remember that we are all worthy of punishment. We are worthy of punishment, but the Most High, he's showing us mercy. By him giving us them trials and that adversity, he, that's, that's mercy from the Most High. Mm-hmm. He's saying, look, here go this trial right now. You, you, you messed up, but here go this trial right now. Overcome that thing. Give me Job. Job 36, 15. Job 36, 15. We all worthy of punishment. We can't be walking around like we like we ain't worthy of punishment. We all got deep, dark secrets. Man, hold that. Get that, get that Romans 7, 18. That Romans 7, 18. We all got stuff deep down that only Christ and us know. The book of Romans. That we ain't going to reveal to no man. Go ahead. The book of Romans, chapter 7 and verse 18. For I know that in me, that is, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. He said, in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. Because we be coming out, we, we, we try to justify uh, certain of the wickedness when we come out the world. Yeah, I ain't smoke. I ain't drink. I was married. I took care of my kids. Right. I paid my taxes. God said... Paul is saying, look, there was no good thing in my flesh. No good thing. That's why, that's why it's the right. We all worthy of, of punishment. We all worthy of death, but God mercies. God is showing us mercy with these trials and these tribulations. So we have to overcome these, these afflictions. In order for us to overcome these afflictions, we must come together. Because you're not alone. We can't, we, we can't fight this battle alone. We have to fight it together. And that's what our leaders, that's what the bishops and deacons and captains is telling us. Unify. Come together. Love one another. Show that brotherly brotherly love. Like he said in Hebrews, let brotherly love continue. We We supposed to rejoice when we see each other. We come in on a Sabbath, you supposed to be excited. That's what your spirit been battling all week. Soon you see your brother in that purple, bro, you supposed to light up with joy. We both made it. We yeah, both we, we both made both. it through the week, another Sabbath. That's it. Then the Sabbath be going by so fast. They be like, oh my God. That's why I like when it be that's why I like when it be a double Sabbath. 
Yeah, you be like, yeah, I'll be happy. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm justified for resting. <laughs> Watching classes, studying, getting over breakdowns. It's an exciting time right there. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll read it from the top. Yeah. For Romans chapter 7 and verse 18. For I know that in me, that is, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. Dwelleth no good thing. Go ahead. For to will is present with me. But how to perform that which is good, I find not. But give me Job 36, 15. Because our flesh like to overtake. Our will, the, the spirit, right? The, the, spirit, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. We try to justify our wrongdoing. Go ahead. Job chapter 36 and verse 15. He delivereth the poor in his affliction. We the poor. He delivereth the poor in his affliction. Read. And openeth their ears in oppression. Wow. So he delivered the poor in his affliction and opened up their ears in oppression. Why? Because when we going through that trial, right? Or even that oppression. God, oh, God is trying to speak to us. He's trying to show us something. He's trying to get our attention. He's like, stop, hold up. You know how it is you in the back of that police car and stuff. Jesus, I ain't gonna do it again. Right. Then you get free, he show you the mercy, you do it again. You do it again. She's like, man, hey, I, man, I knew I, I thought I was going to stop smoking. This is my last pack. <laughs> Go ahead. He said, in the, in the oppression, hey, read it again, though. It says, he delivereth the poor in his affliction. God, that's why, that's why Abraham... They say he believed God, and it was imputed to him for righteousness. We got to believe, just like our father Abraham believed. Read that again. He delivereth the poor in his affliction. We got to believe that thing wholeheartedly. He going to deliver us out of our affliction. We got to look at stuff. This is just a rainy day. It's going to blow over. That's how we got to look at it. Give me Psalms 34, 19. Psalms 34, 19. That's how we got that's how we got to look at it. The book of Psalms chapter 34 and verse 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Whoa. So are we only going to go through one affliction in this walk? Many are the afflictions of the righteous. You righteous, guess what? Afflictions going to come. Mm -hmm. Get ready. Gird yourself up. Learn how to fight. Stay in the gym. Talking about the spiritual gym. Exercise with the scriptures. That's it. Let them doctrines be your body bag. Let them trials be that body bag. And exercise with these scriptures so you can overcome, so you can get that gold belt. <laughs> so you can get that kingdom. But the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He's saying the same thing. Many are the afflictions, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He's saying the same thing Job was saying. Get Psalms 119. I want verses 92 to 93. Psalms 119. You can't be weak, Israel. Got to gird ourselves up. If, we, if, if you are weak, get around some strong brothers so you can get your spirit built up. Yeah, Psalms 119, verses 92 and 93. Psalms 119 and verse 92. Unless thy law had been my delight, I should then have perished in mine affliction. He said, unless thy law had been my delight, I should then have perished in mine affliction. Meaning what? I would have perished in my afflictions, hey, but the law saved me. The law was my defense. These afflictions would have overcame me, but, hey, thank God I knew the law. Thank God I study. Thank God that I counsel. Thank God that I'm around. Some of these afflictions happen when you're not around a, a brotherhood or a sisterhood. Brothers wonder why when they miss the Sabbath, they end up going through something. You, 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 end, up, you end up getting right. into an accident. That law wasn't your delight. <laughs> yeah, the law wasn't your delight. You, 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 you intentionally forsaken the Sabbath. The Most High said, the Sabbath is a sign between me and you that you are my people. And God said what? Well, he said, in Matthew 7, guess what? You ain't keeping the Sabbath. He said, depart from me, ye that work in iniquity. I never knew you. 
He know you because you keep your keep his Sabbaths. He know you because you keep the commandments. You gotta think in your head, dang, what a I ain't I ain't I ain't congregating. Dang, well, Christ come back that day. Right. He gonna be like all the people that know me and I know is congregating. <laughs> you gotta think like that. You know? Go ahead. Verse 93. I will never forget thy precepts. He said, I will never forget thy precepts. Man, some of some brothers and sisters ha uh, have a great memory. Some go on repetition. Like me, I don't have a good memory, so I have to keep rehearsing it, exercising it. I would never forget thy precepts. Go ahead. For with them thou hast quickened me. Mean changed me. With the precepts, they have changed me into a new man. Once you once you start overcoming these fights, you become you become more stronger. You become more confident in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. For real, when you overcome the battles and stuff, you come in like a new man. You come in like a new sister, like, yeah, I, I won. Like, your faith, right. as you overcome these trials, your faith start to increase as you start to win these battles. You start, you start, you start moving like you, you can't be touched because a God is protect. You got to start moving like Christ right beside you. You're like, God going to bring me through this thing. What you got? Romans 5 and 3. Bring it out. It says, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope, and hope maketh not ashamed. It said, I want to start at verse 3, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations. What does tribulations uh, translate to? Afflictions. We should be glorying in afflictions. That's right. Like you just brought out. Because it's what? Building your patience. That's what it's doing. It's building your, your patience. Building your faith. You know, you come in, you come in the truth all down, chest suck in. Then now, you know, you've been in a few years, your chest poking out now. You say, I done been through some battles, <laughs> bro. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I done came through some fires. You know? You got to look at the war wounds, you know? I've been scathed a little bit. You know, you want to be able to, you want to be able to come in and show the brother like it's okay. The brothers hear about the brothers and sisters hear about your trials and tribulations that you come through. You still come to the Sabbath smiling, cheery, going to camp, still bringing out fire. They look like wow. You being an example to the brothers and sisters. We got to be able to inspire the brothers and sisters by overcoming these trials. Sometimes the most I put the trial ain't even for you. It's for you to o overcome it to increase the next brother and sister faith. We want to faint in adversity. That's some se that's a selfish behavior to just leave. That's selfish behavior. Right, get Psalms. We still in the uh, same chapter. I want verse 153. The book of Psalms, <clears throat> chapter 119 and verse 153. Consider mine affliction. And deliver me. Saying the same thing. Consider my affliction and deliver me. Read on. For I do not forget thy law. Don't forget the law. Don't forget the law. A friend loveth at all times. Be around people that's going to gird you up. That's not going to forget the law. When, you, when it's time for your affliction, you want that brother or sister that's around you not to forget the law. So they can keep you on your toes. Build your faith up. Keep you girded. Brothers be forgetting them codes when they was in the world and stuff. I'm going to ride and die for you. Christ rolled and Christ walked and died for us. That's it. That's right. So I owe that to you. You know? <laughs> Get a, uh, you know what just popped in my head? Is that Job, Job 22, 15? I think they just popped in my head. Yeah, they just popped in my head. Job 22, 15. He's talking about the past. Is that it? Yes. Read it. Job chapter 22 and verse 15. Hast thou marked the old way which wicked men have trodden? Has you marked the old way? You know, so when you, when a, when a trial, when a, it, when a trial come and you overcome that, you got to mark that thing so you can know how to deal with it. I always, I always like using boxing, you know. That left hook almost knocked you out. Now you're going to know to put up that left that left arm. Right. 
That's how you got to be. Have you marked the old ways? Read. Which were cut down out of time, whose foundation was overflown with a flood. I just wanted the top of that part. Get Proverbs 4.14. Proverbs 4.14. We got to mark the old path. So it won't happen. So, so we'll be at, know how to overcome it again. Go ahead. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 14. Enter not into the path of the wicked. You would know that if you read the scriptures. Enter not in the path of the wicked. Read on. And go not in the way of evil men. Don't go in the way of evil men. Those men that you know that's out the spirit, that's separating themselves. Those men, those sisters that's not gathering themselves together to be in one mind and one spirit, to show love for one another. Don't go in the path of them, uh, them the evil men. Stay away from those spirits. Let the Most High manifest, uh, manifest those spirits and get them up out of here. All you can do is do what? Love at all times. Get them the commandments. <laughs> That's what you can do. Get Ecclesiastes 4. I'm almost done. Yeah. I'm running out of time. Okay. So. All right. Give me Ecclesiastes 4. Chapter 4. I want verses 9 to 11. Ecclesiastes. Yeah, well, yeah, chapter 4, verse 9 to 11. Ecclesiastes, chapter 4 and verse 9. Two are better than one. God said two is better than one. So we ain't no lonesome ranger. <laughs> two is better than one. Go ahead. Because they have a good reward for their labor. Read. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. A friend loveth at all times. A brother is born for adversity. He's born to help you up, help pick you up. He's born for adversity. Read. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth. It said, hey, woe, destruction to him that's alone when he falleth. You want to separate yourself and get central, what you going to do when that devil come? Come with, all, with a legion of demons. Them demons about to jump your behind. What you going to do? Your back against the wall. Go ahead. For he had not another to help him up. Who going to help him up? Read. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? How can one be warm alone? He's telling you, bro, it's a cold, cold world. You try to leave and be out there by yourself. I'm going to go do my own thing. <laughs> it's a cold, cold world. Mm -hmm. We must come together. We got to come together, be authentic, be sincere with each other. Be real. You know, I tell brothers, man, like, you know, like if I go in the bathroom, I'm, I'm walking, I'm around brothers, I'm in a circle and stuff, we chopping it up. Then I go in the bathroom or something, it's a booger in my nose. I'm like, bruh, y'all hate me. Y'all hey, ain't tell me it's a booger in my nose, bruh. I supposed to be on point. Brothers, we want you to look, look at him. That thing just hanging out. <laughs> That's some hatred, bruh. That's some hatred, bro. <laughs> Straight up. You got crust in your eyes, and they you right there teaching a bunch of men. And they just right there. All they focus on, let me get these precepts. Come on, man. <laughs> Show that love. Uh, give me 2 Maccabees 8. 2 Maccabees 8. Yeah, man. Brothers need to check their spirits. Yeah, definitely too. Brothers and sisters come, breath be stinking, but y'all gotta tell the brothers and sisters. The scriptures say, "Let love be without dissimulation." You have like, hey, pull inside, like, hey, don't, you know, hey, bro, you, you want some gum? Mm. No, I'm good. Hey, I, I, I think you need some gum. It's sound counsel. <laughs> you know, come on. I think you should take it, brother. Uh, Second Maccabees chapter eight, uh, verse thirty-six. Be the last scripture, 36. Second Maccabees chapter 8 and verse 36. Thus he that took upon him to make good to the Romans their tribute by means of the captives, captives in Jerusalem told abroad that the Jews had God to fight for them. The Jews had God to fight for them. When we using wisdom, when we keeping the commandments, when we loving our brothers and our sisters at all times. In using wisdom, becoming that friend of God. We true friends when we do what? Exercise the law. 
The law say we, we should not lie one to another. The scriptures talk about it says do it said uh, do no it said do nothing by injurious practices. Don't 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 apply usury to your brother. These things that we we need to take heed to. It says what a friend loveth at all times, bro. Read on. And therefore, they could not be hurt. It said they 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 could not be what. Therefore, they could not be hurt. The Bible saying. Guess what? The, the, uh, the Bible is saying that we cannot be hurt. The nation's like, dang, when God is protecting them, they cannot be hurt. Read it again. See, see, like what Bishop Yahweh said, that's some therapy right there. Mm -hmm. Read it again. Verse 36. Thus he that took upon him to make good to the Romans their tribute by means of the captives in Jerusalem told abroad that the Jews had God to fight for them. That the Jews had God, the Lord God of Israel, to fight for us. Go ahead. And therefore, they could not be hurt. We cannot be hurt. Them trials come, we cannot be hurt. You remember Deacon Asaph said, look, it's scarcely, it says, he said, what, um, scarcely shall we be saved. He said, look, the angels going to come, the nukes going to hit, they're going to pull us out the fire. Look, you, the, the, the angels patting you out on the head. <laughs> you know, you, your bird, half your bird come on. <laughs> but look, we ain't hurt, though. We cannot be hurt. These afflictions ain't going to overtake us unless what? Your, faint, your, your uh, strength uh, faint. If you faint in the day of uh, adversity and your strength be small. Read. Because they followed the laws that he gave Hold them. Hold on, because they did what? Because they followed the laws that he gave them. That's why we couldn't be hurt because we followed the laws. Everything go back to these laws, statutes, and commandments of God. Because we followed the law wholeheartedly, God made sure that we could not be hurt. He put a hedge around us, a barrier around us. All right, give me, give me last one. Get that Psalms. I think it's Psalms. Just popped in my head. 106. I think it's two. Yeah, I've been using this scripture a lot. 106? Yeah, let me see real quick. Is that it? No, three. 106 and three. The book of Psalms, chapter 106 and verse 3. Blessed are they that keep judgment. God said, blessed are they that keep judgment. Read. And he that doeth righteousness at all times. Whoa. He that doeth righteousness at all times. Blessed is that brother that does righteousness at all times. All right. Hey, I pray, hey, I pray that the class was edifying Israel. Hey, it's an honor to teach in the might uh sub for the mighty deacon lava hammer. You know, all praise to the most high. I pray everybody enjoy their Sabbath. Uh fix your face with Deacon Abiel. It's about to come on. All right. Okay. Um Hey, you got something? Hey, with that. We say shalom. Most high Christ bless. Most high Christ bless Israel.